フルカウンターアイボーイズ、ヴェレンティーズ、ドロップンツーナイ、アンシーダカリーズ、アイムスキップン、アンメビユーシューツー。ウォーキングトゥーバーディネクスフィーバーナーズ、カメン、アンウォーツーフォーツー、ビクウィノウォーツーバーナーライナップイズゴリビー。ウィドンのカリーズ、ビウィノウソンビクティングスアカメン、ソウォーキングトゥーバーディアンウォーツーゴオーバーワイユーワンスキップアビクウィドンのカリーズ、イズディフリーネーデン、アンウォンツーディフィーワンクレイフルーフォーフリー、アリビーイズヤー。アーフォーモーアフハーディ。She's still kind of squishy, and unless you got a decent box EC, it, you know, it's not going to help you out crazy. But once again, the actual raid boss is like, you don't need to chase it, right? If you look at the relics, it's literally only one relic. And we know we get relics because we get one most of the time at the end of the month. They never drop relics on random updates. You always do it during the live streams. We are going to be getting a live stream next week, I think, or in about like 10 days time because we are going to be getting the Shudo collaboration. And if you're on global, I recommend just waiting to see what these characters are and see what they do, even if you don't plan to summon for them because then you can just say, hey, you can see the Shudo characters. You can see if they're going to be good or worth summoning or you'd be like the characters. If they have a new relic, for example, because the most likely or they should be dropping a Any relic with the Shield of Collaboration because there's no way they're gonna allow Only Mayel to be done. Because bear in mind, once again, if we don't get relic during that Shield of Collaboration stream, that means we're not gonna get another relic for one month later on the JP anniversary. So you got a, at least two months there before you get any relic. And you can just do, you can too fair get the relic just by beating floor one. But you can do floor two, which I've heard is actually a lot easier than floor one, at least RNG wise. But yeah, this is the team you want to normally use to do floor one and floor two, and people are doing it with floor three. But I wouldn't say freedom friendly because you got to have melee. But like, I'm assuming everyone's on for melee. Uh, the Merlin and King are literally free. Uh, Elizabeth, obviously, she was free in the past, and you got to make it to LR. But, you know, it's it's a very, very easy team considering the past frequencies of actual demonic people by characters. Normally, it takes you a lot, or you need a lot of characters, some for a lot of stuff, relics to get them to work. Where, like, these ones, they just all work perfectly, at least up to floor two. You can still do floor three with it, but it's going to be a bit harder. But, like I said, you don't need to do floor three because you're getting what? Is it three a month? Three a week? Four week, basically, like, you can get a relic in three weeks. And like I said, there's, there's literally only one relic. And who knows, maybe when we do get a new relic to drop, it's literally going to be, what, one relic, maybe? And then you have a whole, like, another month to farm up that. Like, it's fine. And once again, you don't even need the actual mayor relic, right? It's just, apparently, it's not that good. But yeah, this is the character. If you haven't seen it, it's a pretty good one for once again for what you want for the modify battle character. Uh, I'm a person. I'm personally biased towards the character. I don't like Valentia as a character. By far the worst OC character. And let's say look if you have Shin, but she's just a better Merlin. And to be fair, I'm just gonna wait. She might even be on the JP anniversary banner. And if I happen to pull her dead, then fine. But also, I guess one thing, if you care about OCs a little bit, and that is they kind of only like to drop OC characters on, like, OC banners. Sure, we get some on the actual, like, you know, festival ones, but it's very likely and almost guaranteed, but who knows when we're going to get one of these again, the next OC banner will have Valenti on it, depending on how, how fast or, like, how short the gap is between the two. But, like, Subnak or even the new character, Steri, I think her name was, they're... Probably going to come in a few months' time. And if they do, then Valentia's going to be the banner. And boom, you can get Subnak or the new character, whoever they look like. And then get Valentia as well. But also, there's a 600 diamond banner. If this was a step up, I'd probably say it's a must summon. Or even a consider summoning. But 600 diamonds, especially after these last few banners, which have been reckless. I mean, you can see my gem count. I have one gem. One gem. And that's because I'm still a summon for Gold for. I summon for Gelder. I summon for Arthur. Uh, I skipped, obviously, um... Now, I kind of summoned a little bit for the actual uh, Tower God collab, but like we've had so many back to back really good summons. We need a break here, so I think Valenti should be a break for most people. And I bear in mind, once again, we are going to be getting the Shudo collaboration because, or we know we're getting a collaboration at the end of April. But yeah, the end of April, we always get collaboration, and it's looking like to be Shield Hero. So it's, for me personally, I'm going to wait and see what that is about. But in the part two to a Shield Hero, might be some random Ragnarok character, whatever it may be, but we do know two weeks after that, so a month after the Shudo collaboration, we are going to be getting the jp anniversary and that is going to be another ur character probably a bit better and in terms of like more universal than the actual goal for he's a bit niche and that's kind of why he dropped it this time but we're gonna be getting i'd like to think a new king we're probably gonna get a new sin character regardless it's jp fifth anniversary it is going to be a big banner and not to mention they've already confirmed it but in literally two weeks after the actual jp anniversary for what like june 
at the start of June, we're going to be getting Four Nights of Apocalypse. That is going to be a massive big banner, massive celebration. I'm hoping they do a lot of stuff like how they did Ragnarok the first time that dropped. We've got three new characters. We've got like a new character. We've got new outfits. A big massive like expansion essentially. I'm hoping the Four Nights of Apocalypse update can do that. But also it's Four Apocalypse. If you haven't seen it, it's on Netflix right now. The anime has finished. Unfortunately, all of it's not on Netflix, but it's very, very good. I've been reading the manga. Just saw the newest chapter. Almost had me in tears. Like I cannot wait until I see these characters in game. So that's something that I'm looking forward to. And you should be too. And probably saving those 600 gems that you would spend on Valenti. And maybe saving it for that actual JP Annie. Or maybe even the person banner. Because you know right now. Like we know. You're going to have to spend 1.5k gems in like a month and a half's time. So at that point just save. Plus the banner. They couldn't have picked the worst banner. Like... It, it, the only good one is uh, Roxy, but like she's been on a few banners now. Probably will be in the JP anniversary banner too. Might even be on the collab banner because it might be like a human banner as well. But it's um yeah, this really should have been a step up. Like just literally nothing worth summoning for here. I mean, even right now the actual you know uh, I guess gold for banner has been quite decent with obviously Mayel. It's been with obviously uh, Hell's Return. There are a few nice stuff inside of here, but I still got sharped in, and it's like decent characters in this banner. When there's only one character you want and one character you don't mind. That's not saying a lot, right? It's just, it's, it, yeah, boy, just skip this one. All right, so let's go over to Reddit because I want to see what this post is talking about here because uh, Seke Team always posts this every single week. Going over the pros and cons, a little bit of a should you summon. Uh, yeah, someone's got, I said the same thing. Right, wait, wait, just just see what the next banner is. Arsenal Global have the privilege, of course. Bear in mind, this is a demolish people by character. You're not going to go crazy by not a summoner. You can summon her literally on the last day. It's, uh, if you care about Shiro or, like, you know, the characters, then just wait and see what happens. Because this is the first collaboration we're going to get to return that already had relics. So, like, who knows? Are they going to get LR characters? Are they going to buff them? You got to wait and see, right? We actually don't know. But let's read some comments here. Hate to say it, but she's probably a must summon if you care for demolish people at any point. Um... Sure, but if you also care about Four Nights, you know, meta characters and PvP, if you care about the anniversary, you care about collaborations, you know, there's, there's priorities, right? I wouldn't I wouldn't prioritize the Molly B Bowers over, like, PvP characters, because we know we're going to be getting a new collab. They're going to be probably good in PvP for at least a month, <laughs> and then they're going to count up hard by the actual JP anniversary. And if you don't have 600 diamonds for that, that's going to be kind of rough. Well, we do get Percival, and what Percival is a human character, and then, boom, human in a top tier, like how we had Gelder with the demons, like... You know, you might want to save those 600 gems. That's what I'm saying for that banner. It's going to be more important, maybe. This is a good comment. You can beat floor one and floor two without her, but you can still farm the relics, just not quite as easily. From my experience, I say summoning on units to save your sanity is quite worth it. Well, again, fair point, but, you know, if we don't have gems because we just had crazy back-to-back -back banners, people are kind of realizing that the gem, the gem economy right now is going to be the lowest it's probably ever been because we've actually had for ones really good banners. Even though they are giving a bit more out, we are spending a lot more as well. But I do really stress, if you spend 600 damage now, you might have, you probably will have enough to summer on the next JP anniversary, even if you have zero right now. But then, like I said, the Fortnite Apocalypse update, we don't know what that's about. Are they giving me exclusive characters? Are they only ever going to return when we get Fortnite's characters? We don't know how it's going to work out. And they might be limited, they might be scarce, and you might want to summon for those two, which is why I'm saying save that diamond banner for that full night's update. This one's a really good point. If they end up releasing more Holy Relics for a Tusker materials, then obviously she'll be worth it. But I it right now, there's only one. And like I said, we are going to be getting a Shudo collaboration at the end of the month. And the global update will obviously know ahead of time. So we can see if they're going to get Relics. If they get Relics, if it's a broken run, like let's say if they do like Trait Amelie, and now Trait Amelie is the most best character in the game, then what I would recommend, probably summon for the actual Valenti. But if they end up dropping a Relic for like say Derriere, and like she's now a good guild boss character, you know, you're not really losing out on anything. So, once again, I, my biggest thing is just wait. But yeah, boys, it's going to wrap up the video. Let me know what you guys are doing in the comments below. Like I said, unless you've got like, a, like 980 gems to spend, then if, if you can't guarantee them, definitely don't be summoning, right? Like, don't don't risk it. If, if you can't get the guarantee pity, then do not go for it. I want collaborations are most of the time skip for free to play. If you like the anime, if you like the characters, if they look cool, maybe there's uh, some free to play or like there's... um. Maybe there's some sort of PV characters, like how the Tile of God one was, and who knows how that's going to work out. I think it's better for waiting. So, boy, thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, peace.